What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Bucky2988 coming at you live once again to the power of the internet. And yes, I'm still wearing my merch, merch link down below. And before I start this video, let me go ahead and say, I don't really know what I want to upload to this YouTube channel anymore, but I'm so grateful that you clicked on it and chose to watch it. I do like talking about current events, and something I don't really like doing is talking about current events I don't care about. So I think when it comes to the fence-sitting stuff, I'm done with that. I definitely want to pick a side when I'm talking about stuff, specifically this topic. I definitely picked a side. But let me know in the comments section below what you think about this moving forward. Do you want to hear me weigh in on current events and things along that lines? I think I should. I enjoy talking about it. Hopefully you enjoy watching it. So let me know. Say nice things. So by now, you heard about what happened at the Oscars last night. And I'm just going to be honest. Thank gosh it happened. Because otherwise, I would not have cared about these Oscars at all. I, I haven't even seen 90% of the movies that were nominated. Or I don't even care about the actors that were nominated. In fact, let me check something real quick. Did Spider-Man win an Oscar? No, he, they lost to Dune. So I genuinely don't care about the Oscars anymore. But obviously, uh, Chris Rock was telling jokes and Will Smith got offended by one of the jokes. So he walked up, defended his wife, slapped the living heck out of Chris Rock and then decided to, uh, you know, go back into the audience and proceed to verbally assault Chris Rock by telling him to leave his wife's name out of his mouth. And uh, yeah, so the Internet reacted to this in a fairly split way. And you know, you know me, I'm normally a fence setter, but now I'm definitely gonna take a side on this one. Now, for those of you who did not understand the context, Chris Rock, who was hosting, made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith, who has bald head right now because she's suffering from alopecia, and made the choice to just go ahead and shave her head to feel more comfortable in her own skin and her own body. Now, the joke he specifically said was, Jada, good seeing you here. I look forward to seeing you in G.I. Jane 2, which is actually kind of funny because the original G.I. Jane starred Demi Moore, and in order to play the role, she had to shave her head. So it's, it's kind of, it's actually, it's actually pretty funny. And you know who else thought it was funny at first? Was Will Smith, because they cut to him and he was laughing at the joke. Jada, not. But Will Smith, if you look at the feed, he thought it was funny at first. So, so what I think happened is, is Will is laughing at the joke and then he looks at Jada and Jada is hurt by the joke and probably hurt by the fact that Will is laughing. So Will then decided to get up, get on stage and in front of millions of people worldwide, <laughs> slap the living hell out of Chris Rock for telling that joke and then scream at him to leave Jada's name out of his effing mouth. And, and that seems to be what happened. So first off, I know a lot of people in the comments section are going to be saying, Boogie, what are you doing? This was staged, right? The Oscars has never been that kind of affair. It's generally very pompous, and they're not going to do something like this for clout. And Will Smith is one of Hollywood's good guys, right? He's very PG. He's very cool. He's very nice. He's considered one of the Tom Hanksy-ish nice guys. I don't think Will Smith would have agreed to do this. but So I'm going to work under the presumption that it was not staged. But if it was, I'll delete this video and eat my words. We all know how I like to eat things. <sighs> but look, I have Will Smith's back here up to a point. Is it okay to be offended? Yeah, I get offended all the time. Is it okay to react when you're offended? Absolutely. You're allowed to say things back. You're allowed to do things. You're allowed to boycott like Will Smith and Jada did back in what was it, 2016, because not enough black people were getting nominated for the Oscars. And you're allowed to do whatever you want to do when you're offended up to a point. What you're not allowed to do is assault somebody who offended you. You're not allowed to throw fists. You're not allowed to punch or kick. You're not allowed to threaten. You're not allowed to break the law. You, you can't break the law. Trust me. I know. And even if this was staged, this is sending a very clear message. I hate to say, you know, Hollywood elite, uh, whatever, conspiracy theorist bullshit. But this sends a very clear message that if somebody says something you don't like, you can slap the hell out of them. You can physically assault somebody for telling a joke you don't like. That is the definition of cancel culture. And if we're at that point, if you're going to start slapping comedians for telling jokes that offend you, Bill Burr's going to need a helmet on stage. And that's the thing. I would have Will Smith back here, even though he has been absurdly cringy when he tried to invade this very platform I am on. Uh, I still would have Will Smith back had he walked out or voiced his opinion, or even came up on stage and confronted Chris Rock and left his fists in his pocket. Those are all things he could have chosen to do. He chose to do something very, very stupid instead. Now, fortunately for Will Smith, he is the Oscar-winning 
Will Smith. So he got special treatment. Uh, Chris Rock chose not to press charges. The Academy did not escort him out of the building. In fact, they gave him his award later that night and let him have his acceptance speech and everything else that comes along with it. But I don't feel like that's going to be the end of it here. I think there's a lot of people, myself included, who are just kind of over Will Smith's antics and the bad news in the press who are just going to choose not to watch his movies. So so many people chose not to watch my videos once they started hearing bad things about me. That's that's something that happens, right? I, I can't even think of the last Will Smith movie I watched. I don't even know the movie he got nominated for. So, you know, it is, it is, it's unlikely I'll see a Will Smith movie anytime in the future. Unless they put him in Spider-Man. And I know a lot of other YouTubers are going to speculate on the status of Will Smith's marriage based on the things that they have said publicly and the things that have been rumored to happen. And I don't really want to get into that. But I will say, you can bet your bottom dollar that this is probably their marriage problems spilling out all over the Oscar stage. And having been in tumultuous relationships in the past, like Will Smith said, love will make you do crazy things. And I have seen crazy. I have done crazy for the women I've loved. So that's a thing that has actually happened in my past. But I don't know. I think the Oscars deserves more than that. I, and I don't even care about the Oscars. And even I think the Oscars deserves better than having you have marriage counseling all over the stage. So in closing, let me just say, I was impressed with Chris Rock's ability to take a hit and continue being a professional. Uh, I've never found Chris Rock particularly funny, but in this particular instance, I found him to be a professional and I thought he did an amazing job uh, for what little of the Oscars I watched, which is mostly just him getting a hit in the face. <laughs> But that's one man's opinion. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget, by the way, merch shirts are available. Link down below. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I will speak with you again soon.